Hi, welcome to another video in this uh, series of Calamaris. This is the Alkalinx D installer, which makes it a little bit more difficult to report issues to the github.com slash Calamaris, the developers. So it's not coming from Alkalinx. We're the users. We're not the developers. If there is an issue, all right, then what do you do? You maybe better start not from this screen, which is not a debugging mode is not something you can report back. What you better do is wait till the Calamaris is closed. So I wait till about 10 seconds or so. And then I press Ctrl T. You can always press Ctrl T on any of our ISOs. It's the terminal. What we always can do is launch Calamaris this way that we can actually report something that something is going wrong. Because if we don't report it, it's never ever going to be fixed. So you have to put in some time and energy in order for it to, to be solved in the future. So what we need to type is minus D to be debugging. And if we want to report back to the guys of Calamaris with a logging file, pictures, maybe video as possible as well, then you say, okay, I'm gonna redirect my information that normally comes on the terminal. I'm gonna show it in the home, that's not home, live user on the desktop, log text for instance, and dot is here, still in query here. So if I do this, then I'm going to redirect everything to uh, my file. So that's launched, okay? So let's assume everything is just working, let's just have some elements, then everything is, uh, well, there's a crash somewhere, right? Assuming, why would we make a log? Because there's something wrong. So assuming that there is something wrong, this is what you need to send over to the guys of Calamaris. Now, on Arco Linux and on Arco Linux B also, we have the Control alt f for Firefox, but Firefox did not launch. Control alt v for Vivaldi, but Vivaldi is not installed. The point of Arco Linux D is that it's a but minimalized, so it doesn't contain anything really. It just skips the whole installation part and you're thrown in a black screen, you run your scripts. Control alt g So none of the browsers ex exist. Of course, you can actually install a browser and do it that way. But I'd like to, you to point you to another application because installing browsers takes space and at some point in time, it might be just um, completely filled up. So there is not a lot of amount of space free. Okay, going for my query here. <laughs> so sudo pacman, you can always send it to minus s pastebin, pastebin.com, have a look at it. And you only have to remember, let's pastebin it. Okay, let's pastebin it. And that's one of the things you can install. But the thing says, Pacman says, uh, let's include that, that tip in the video as well. Right mouse click, open a new window, live no, file system. Let's see if I still know. <laughs> Far. That's the folder we need to keep track of. So Pacman is, of course, keeping track of all its packages in some way, right? When we type update, or actually, which is actually an alias for this one, let's type this one for once, right? This one or that one. Something happens here. Something happens. It made a folder with databases, DB databases. So all the elements, core, extra community, core, extra community. So if anything that goes wrong at some point in time with Pacman, buy files and redo it again. There were no files prior, right? So redo it and do an, an pacman minus S Y Y. I think one Y is already enough. Just try it out. You'll see. Um, so now I can install things. Now, now pacman knows, oh yeah, there are all my files. So it didn't know it prior to this thing here, right? So sudo pacman minus S. So this paste bin, I'm typing it all again. And I could have done it with an arrow up. 
paste pin it. Okay. It's a little application. It doesn't take a lot of mount to actually do this, to send this on its way. Man paste bin. Take a look how it works. Man is uh, blah, blah, blah. No manual entry. Fine. If there is no manual entry, we'll just do a paste bin H. And oh yeah, base bin it H. Oh yeah, I made a typo, I see it at the top as well. Base bin it. So we see a lot of things. Author, arguments, base bin. Default is base bin.com. Uh, right, list of stuff. So in essence, I don't see anything I need. All I need to do is say this guy and uh, let's see it's on the desktop. Desktop log text. There you are. This is the file. This is the link you should write on a piece of paper. Pastebin.com is always the same. Then a capital P for HN41 capital T U. And that's the link where this file has now been sent to and you can share it with the guys of uh, Calamaris, the developers. All right, that's a neat little trick to share it even now when you don't have any browsers available. Um, and uh, that's the way to go. All right, cheers.